Hey, don't put up with messy wires. Hide them. If you're like me, your house is probably your office, so get rid of these stupid wires so that people don't trip over them. Step one, start with a table you don't mind modifying. I found this one on OfferUp. As good as the bones are on this one, it was a little bit different in real life than it was online, so I'm giving it a little help. I wiped everything down and then sanded the visibly lumpy parts so that it was smooth and ready for paint. Then I painted it. There are so many unique ways to paint wood and leave part of it revealed and all of that, but after getting a lot of feedback, it's solid blue. Make this old furniture look 30 years younger. Update the knobs. Originally, there were two round classic knobs on each drawer. So what should we go with to make it more modern? Matte black handles from Home Depot or gold bar pulls from Ikea? Ooh, wait, these are on clearance. When I bring the gold bars home, they really do tie in perfectly with the other gold features in the room. And so I love how this is just the icing on the cake for this table. We transformed this table to do a lot for us. There were some needs that needed to be met. So the table needed to be either round or square, just even in width all the way around because of the space where it's going in. It needed to be a bright color because everything else in the room is neutral. We need drawers in the table because the table without drawers is like a summer dress without pockets. Also, in this room, we're using a projector instead of a TV, and so we need to be able to hide all the wires that go along with that speaker and the projector that I have there. Getting a customized piece would have eaten into my design budget, so let's just add the function we need. We're going to drill a hole through the top, through each of the drawers, through the bottom, through the rug, so that we can wire in, uh, feed through the wires that we need for any of the tabletop electronics. I had to hide these wires because my niece, who was just learning how to walk and run, was playing around the table and I was worried that she would trip and I was also worried other people in my family could trip and so the wires needed to be tucked away. Enter the hero of our story, the hole saw. I wish I'd known about this circle cutter a long time ago. I always thought cutting a perfect circle through a thick surface was impossible. I mean, on other projects, I even tried to drill a hole, like, with a drill bit. <laughs> I tried filing a hole, just trying to make it perfect was so hard. And then it turns out there is a tool that does this for you, and it cuts a perfect circle every time. It makes you want to drill holes in every this might sound basic to some of you, but this is like brand new information for me and it is my new favorite tool. Just like a basic Phillips head or a flathead bit, it's just a bit you can put on your drill. It is so easy. But I kept wondering, is this safe? I don't know. Use your judgment. Look it up online. I looked it up online and it looked like overall as long as the wires are in good condition and they're not frayed or broken and you're not wiring an extension cord and a series of Christmas lights underneath your rug, it should be fine. But look it up yourself. Use your own judgment. Overall, this is an easy fix. I cut circles with a hole saw and it was 22 bucks for the hole saw bit and you get 20 pieces so you can cut holes of any size. And the pretty rose gold wire covers were $2.75 each. And then the table, I haggled it down to 50 bucks. So overall, we're talking under $75 all in. I'll link to what I use below if you wanna find them. But you can imagine it now, right? It looks like something that would be for sale online for a couple thousand bucks. Overall, I think this was totally worth the time and effort to have a really cool looking centerpiece in this room and to get rid of the clutter and get rid of the trip hazards that I was worried about. If this was helpful, follow for more ideas on how to stretch a furniture budget or any budget.